A little under a year ago, on July 28th, I only had 5,000 subscribers. And on that day, I thought that was probably going to be the best milestone I'd ever managed to get to. I, th I thought that was fantastic. As said, a little under a year ago, 5,000, and it's, it was so, so good. Fast forward about six months, roughly, onto January the 21st or 24th, can't quite remember which day it was, but one of those, I had like 25 or 30,000 subscribers. It took me six to seven months to get 25,000 subscribers, an extra amount, I should say. It took that long. And then you fast forward to now, when we are on June 25th, is hoping I can upload this on the same goddamn day of recording it. I... I have 101,000 subscribers, because I, uh... I thought this was going to happen today, and instead, it was like, we hit the milestone yesterday, which is absolutely insane. Awesome! Certainly not complaining. I don't give a shit about being punctual with this kind of video, but Jesus, I thought that was going to happen today, not yesterday. So, hence the lateness. So just to put that into perspective, we went from six to seven months passing to get to 25,000 to five months passing, and I got 76,000. I can't remember how much I had on the day that I left the university, which was the 21st or 24th. I don't remember the date, I don't remember the specific numbers, but at least 70 goddamn thousand. We doubled the growth rate. That is insane! Never mind the fact that I'm here at all. <laughs> Never mind the fact that I'm here at all. It's fucking... Ah, it's weird to think about. It's honestly insane to think that I've gone... This long doing what I've done, because it's because I started this. I started my YouTube involvement hobby thing in 2011. It took me like three or four fucking years to get 5,000, and then only another year to get like 95 extra. A year. Ugh. I mean, I know it goes without saying that growth is like that. You know, that's the way it works sometimes. But Jesus Christ, that's insane. I mean, that's utterly... that's crazy to me, I can't... Oh god, I can't get past it, it's crazy to me. Because... How, how do... how do you get past that? I mean, how do you really accept the fact that you have got that much growth in that short amount of time comparative to the time it took you to get to the point that you were at originally? I mean, good god. Legitimately at least three years to get 5,000 subscribers and then now this. But then again, when I was... when I had 5,000, I was putting out completely different content. You know, like, I've changed everything, mainly thanks to the viewers that I had originally, because it's like, well, these guys are happy watching this, but I'm not happy just making this. You were the guys that gave me the, the step up to the point where I could realize that I could, or at least I should, try to do better, and then I did, and seemingly produced better, because here I am, <laughs> on the fucking highway to... A bigger numbers somehow, like I have an extra digit on my subscriber count now. So all of this is thanks to everyone that watched from that point, and everyone that may have just discovered me today. It doesn't matter. It, every single one of you has one made me insanely happy, two made me insanely sick. well maybe not insanely, but relatively successful. Insanely successful when you compare where I originally goddamn was, which was nowhere. And three have given me an insane amount of motivation to do better. To make better things, to put more effort into different things. For instance, better audio, figuring out what the knobs I'm doing with it. Was it obvious I didn't know? Because, my god, I didn't for quite a long time. It was terrible. And now I've gone ahead and acquired better equipment because you have given me a life livelihood. I almost didn't fuck that up, but still did. I almost saved it and then it just gave up anyway. But you've given me the livelihood to be able to afford a better equipment to give you better quality everything. I've got a new microphone, a new audio interface, a new preamp everything. I mean, maybe I've mentioned what they are, maybe I haven't. Fuck it, let's just make this the rambling, incoherent, tangible bullshit that it always is going to be when it's me just speaking to you. I, um... I bought the Sennheiser MK4 microphone, the Line 6 Pro UX2 audio interface, and the pre-Sonus Tube Pre-V2 preamp. Uh, uh, that's what the pre is, you dumbass. You fucking repeated yourself. But I figured I'd list that here and tell you because, well, fun fact. I figured out what audio equipment to use because my previous lot broke. Don't know how. I'm shit. I assume it was my fault. Certainly nothing wrong with the hardware. It was some of the fucking best I had. But I found out what equipment 
I use, or should use, from other content creators. For instance, this entire setup is from Immortal HD slash Dex to Manning, because that's where he got it from. So, for the simple sake of sharing that information for any would-be content creators that want to get some good quality audio, use that stuff. It's fucking awesome. But anyway, that's not what this is about. But it's going to be about a million to one things, because as I said, whenever I do these talk to you videos, I talk about bloody everything. But yeah, back to the obvious thing. 100,000 subscribers, that's a milestone. That's a real big milestone. An insane one when you think about it, because it's like, hey, I said a year ago I was just doing this because I enjoyed it. Naturally, I still enjoy it, but I was literally doing it just because of that. I wasn't making any money from this. I, I, I wouldn't want to sound ungrateful, but I didn't have any. I didn't have a massive audience enjoying it. I just had this very enjoyable amount of people, this reasonable, and it was just fun. It was just something I did for fun, to enjoy myself, to pass the time, and generally have a smile on my face. It was fun. And then you fast forward a couple of months, as said, on the January 21st, and you find people made this possible to be able to be my job. I <laughs> dropped the fuck out of university because I didn't feel like being in more goddamn debt for something that I wasn't likely going to actually pursue in the future anyway. And now I have this as a job. A very well-paying job. I have this as a very fucking enjoyable job. You get the idea, like I am one of the happy few. Thanks to you. All of this is thanks to you, and I can't be... I can't say it enough. It's gonna be like a fucking cyclical speech pattern of me just saying thank you at the end of every single sentence, but it bears repeating. I mean, I wouldn't be here without the small amount of people that were here at the beginning. I wouldn't be here without the mass that have bloody turned up somehow. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the fact that there was just enough of an amount of people in the beginning to get me to keep doing it and so on and so forth. Like, if nobody watched me when I was doing the garbage shit, then I wouldn't have been able to evolve into make less shittier shit. And then get to this point where I'm actually happy with my stuff. So, yeah, I have nothing but gratitude to throw your way. Because as said, I mean, as much as this is a celebration of, oh, I got a big number on my channel, it's more... It's more of a celebration of the fact that you got me to this point. Because as I've, I know, I've literally said that five seconds ago, but I wouldn't be here without you for the the the, the reasons listed, not the reasons listed. I was literally about to say that. My brain's melting. I blame the heat. I fucking hate the summer. Ugh. And fun fact, I've still not found a new place to live because landlords are assholes. But hey, it's a story for another day or maybe never day because that's just. It's not a fun story, really, is it? I'll make sure to tell you when I actually do finally get into a new goddamn place, which I'm gonna have to start looking for a goddamn gen. Now I've slipped out of line, little moody, not doing anything for a couple of weeks. Ugh. Responsibilities, kids. You gotta own up to them. Otherwise, you're gonna be living in a box with a frown on your face. Remember when I said there was gonna be an absolute mess of tangents? Yeah, that the past minute proved that one. Anyway. Now that I have 100,000 subscribers, the fun thing is, nothing's going to change. I'm just going to keep making content the same way I always have. Well, not always, but for the past five months, as I've been doing. I'm going to try and find more appropriate games to make content for, and that's it. The direction of the channel is pretty much the same road you've seen it go, but maybe, just maybe, we'll kid up our car down that road with a couple of extra things along the way. That's cryptic as fuck and tells you nothing, but just to let you know, Eventually, I'm going to start doing some different things. Not in the way that it would alienate what you've come to love, but it would give you something else to per yeah, particularly, potentially appreciate. Particularly made no sense. My brain is literally melting. But yeah. Uh, not much is going to change barring the audio, because I finally fucking fixed it. I really can't say enough how good this audio equipment is. Because everything was cheaper, and yet it is somehow better than what I had previously. <laughs> So hopefully nothing will fuck up that way, and your ears will not be stabbed and pierced and buggered and punched. And we'll be able to focus on making stupid ha ha and dick jokes. So again, thank you for letting me get to this point. It's weird. I'm... I have 100,000 subscribers plus. I'm part of Polaris. I regularly communicate with other content creators that I absolutely adore watching. It's fucking crazy to me. That's Tomato Gaming, by the way, if you didn't know, as well as Chiatronic and a handful of others. Pretty much, oh yeah, almost forgot that. Future me, put in the featured panels that you finally fixed and made better and weren't basic shit and fucking lazy as balls. Look at it. Yeah, nice. Oh, they all look pretty. 
Oh, doesn't that do a better job of telling you why you should check those people out? Even though the three at the top don't have a label, which I should probably have done, but I forgot because I'm stupid. Although now I've said that, I've actually likely added that in and you're seeing that product. You know what? Future me, make two versions of that to show the change you made. Yeah. Um, I'm not, obviously not going to drop the whole featuring other content creators thing because that's ridiculously important in my opinion. Because hey, here's another thing that I forgot to mention. I would not be here as quickly as I was were it not for Tomato Gaming. Because he shared my stuff and it obviously helped. My subscriber in um, daily gain, increase, whatever, doubled when he started doing it. I'd imagine his did too. And it's stayed that way. It hasn't dipped all that much. I mean, it's not like it's a fucking flat line of consistency, but you know, it's... Compare it to a before, and it's literally stayed twice the amount. And it has since gone up even more, because that's the way YouTube works. It's a snowball effect. It's crazy. So a million thanks to him for doing that. More creators should do it. I say that firsthand because I've seen the benefits for me and others that I've done it for. This shouldn't be a rare occasion where people look and go, Oh, ain't that nice? It should be the norm, really. I... I'm trying to make this a positive thing where thank you for all this stuff, but you know me, an update video is an update video where I just ramble and say a bunch of shit that has nothing to do with the main topic at hand. But hey, I imagine that's why you've come to watch these? Hmm? No? Well, I'm bad at my job. But yeah, content creators supporting others should be a more common thing, and I don't intend on stopping it. I do intend on finding more efficient ways of doing it, because it's like, it's kind of hard to feature multiple people at once without naturally bringing down the amount of benefit each individual will find. It's it's hard to find that balance, but I'm, I'm going to find a way. Somehow. If you have any suggestions for that, fuck it. Throw them my way. I don't know. Oh, and just so you know, the people listed here are not the only people to be listed. If I'm not lazy as shit, I should be swapping the people out in the respective category- <laughs> Categories, not categories, you fucking idiot. I should be doing that over time, which should make it better because more people will benefit. Anyway, yeah, back to the 100,000 subscribers thing. I really don't know. Here's the thing. Y you know how most people make a celebratory video that's special and they go out of their way to make something specifically good and better to celebrate it? Yeah, were it not for the fact that I took that couple of weeks... Well, actually, it was only, only a little over a week. If I hadn't taken that little over a week break, I... It wouldn't... It's still... It's like one of those things. I, I put equal effort into all of my videos where possible. You know, like, if I if I was trying to make one video in the future better than the others, then the others would suffer because of it, and then that one video would be better, not because it's better, but because the others are worse, if that makes sense. That's why I don't do stuff like that. And that's why whenever there's a milestone to be appreciated or something to cheer about, it's just me speaking, and it's really <laughs> kind of lacklustre in one way or another, but... I don't know, I like making these, I like to think that you like listening to them. Fuck, I like listening to these kind of things from other people, so that's that's my mentality for content creation, if you didn't know. I like to base what I make off of what I also like to watch. Because if I like to watch what I am fucking making, then at least I'm making something that I myself would enjoy. So you can naturally imagine that over the years I've acquired more of a refined taste, as my bloody enjoyment of my own content a couple of years ago clearly wasn't all that much of a fucking accomplishment as I was churning out three videos a day of utter poop. But anyway, speaking of daily uploads, I am going to try and get back to two videos a day, but getting back on the horse of consistency and being able to put out that much consistently is tough. So I will get back to that soon, but if it's only a video a day for a little while, just so you know, it's because you gotta get the self-discipline back. And that's difficult after having a week doing jack shit. Sincerely, like it really is, especially when a fucking new game like Batman Arkham Knight comes out and you just want to play that all day. <laughs> Literally all day. I did. Spoilers, it's fucking awesome. That game is astounding. Although I do think Witcher 3 is probably going to get game of the year for me still. I know it's only like halfway through the year, but there's so much I haven't done in that game and there's so much I still enjoy while playing it. So that's likely going to get game of the year for me. But Batman Arkham Knight is still fucking fantastic. I shall hopefully find a way to put some content out for that in the next couple of days. Hopefully. And speaking of which, I may miss a day every now and then while trying to get back on the horse for the sake of consistency in the future. If I miss a video or a day of content, just so you know, that is for the sake of fortifying consistency over the next couple of days as opposed to that one. Just trying to cover my bases 
because when I put the update video out about why I had the break, a lot of you were very understanding, appreciative, and supportive. So thank you for that. And I understand this isn't me necessarily trying to defend myself, just explain it so you know. Because it's better to explain yourself preemptively than it is to disappear for a fucking week with no rhyme or reason and then tell people why. That's the one thing I shouldn't have done, but uh... To be fair, didn't realise it was going to be over a week. <laughs> like I said, yeah, I'm just not going to come back for a whole week. I just missed a day and thought, eh, it'd be better tomorrow. Anything week. And now we are where we are, where we missed a whole fucking week of content, and I feel like a little bit of a dick for doing so, but thank you for understanding. So yeah, I think that about covers it. I've rambled about everything that I wanted to. I covered the main thing of my evolution of content and the channel, which is crazy. As I said, like, literally under a year ago, I only had 5,000. And yeah, here we are. 101. <laughs> it's insane. Ah, uh, it's weird. You know, one thing I should say is despite the fact that when you are getting close to 100,000 subscribers, like, you know, you're like, you're on 80,000, then you're on 90, it's still just as surprising when you actually get there, despite the fact you can see it coming. Like, when I actually saw it, and then it sunk in, that I have just as many subscribe well, not just as many, but an equal amount close to subscribers of H3H3 Productions, which I adore the content of, is insane. When I think that only, like, a year- I don't know, I've got no reference of time, but roughly a year ago, Immortal HD only just got this amount. Like, wow. That's fucking crazy. That I am at that level. It's one of those weird things that, despite the fact you see it coming, and you understand the implications of it, it kind of hits you all the more forcefully when you actually see it on the page on the day, and it's like, wow. So that happened, huh? <laughs> yeah. So thank you again. The thanks deserve to be thrown at all of you, because I said you are responsible for me being here. Every mistake I made in my life is also responsible for me being here. If I hadn't wasted five years of my life in education that never got me anything that I'm ever going to do anything with, then I wouldn't likely be here if I hadn't... You, you get, it's life philosophy. Don't regret anything, because eventually, even the bad steps will create a path and a road that leads you to somewhere nice. So don't feel bad for fucking up, because it builds character, and it teaches you. And then you don't make the mistakes, you make the right steps, and then... This analogy makes no sense, because I'm just insanely fucking lucky. <laughs> Anyone else could have made the same mistakes, and it would have just been five years wasted of education. Me? Lucky as fuck. I won the life lottery. I won the game of life lottery. So thank you to everyone for contributing to that. <laughs> oh, life's weird. YouTube's even weirder. Like, really. Can't get over the fact this is my job. Sitting in front of a microphone, making stupid noises and voices and jokes, and that's about it. That's literally my day. And editing it, of course, but still, like, just to think that being dumb is a profession. And puts food on the table and keeps the lights on. All thanks to you. All thanks to you. So, yeah. I think I've attempted to wrap this up multiple times, as I always do with these. If you were to go back and watch any of these, I literally, the formula of me trying to wrap it up is likely exactly the same. But again. Thank you very much for all of this, and hey, E3 just passed. All those games showcased, I can't wait to play and make content of. I may even actually play Halo 5 Guardians on the channel in some form or another if I can find a way to do so. It's not a promise, or anything concrete, but that game looks fantastic. Between the campaign with its weird Rainbow Six Squad mechanic with the different Spartans, and the fucking Warzone mode, which looks absolutely insane for a shooter, I'm really looking forward to that. Looks like it's got a lot of potential. As does For Honor, which I mentioned in the previous update video. That game looks fucking phenomenal, I can't wait for that. So many games at E3 that I can't wait for, and most of them are actually coming out soon. Thank God for that. So, here's to hoping that I don't disappear for a week at a time again, and if I do, I'd like to think that I'll explain myself preemptively as opposed to after the fact. And here's to hoping that, uh, I don't get burned out washed up and forget what the fuck I'm doing and get bad at my job and then just disappear from the internet. <laughs> just hoping that I can maintain whatever semblance of quality it is you've come to appreciate. Thank you for all this. My life's happy. It'll be a lot happier when I get a new house. Landlords, you bastards. Give me a house. 
I make more money than you. You stock up fuck. Eh. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, because I am weird as fuck and never know how to end these in a significant way, I will be seeing you next time. Oh! And, uh, new featured content panel, go check out those people. No, really, you should. Tomato Gaming is a fucking astounding at what he does. Chatronic makes nothing but quality content. And h 3 x Productions are absolutely off the fucking balls, off the walls, literally just weird as shit insane. Go watch those guys. And all the others are listed as well, because I've forgotten who it is that's listed on the original panels, because I'm bad at my job. Now that my update video of a subscriber milestone is over, celebrating progress that I've made, you should give some other content creators a chance and give them the opportunity to move a little bit closer to their respective milestones. The fact that I reached 100,000 subscribers before Tomato Gaming and Chatronic is a fucking crime. And I'm not saying that for the sake of sounding nice. I honestly believe their content is better than mine. But maybe that's because I just get to watch theirs and I don't spend hours on end fucking around with mine. I remember the flaws that I get rid of. You don't see them. Uh, anyway, this is the seventh time I tried to end this. Love you lads. See you next time. And eat your greens.